Capitol Hill. Over 150 Texas farmers and ranchers traded their jeans and jackets for coats and ties and headed to our nation's capital. Growers met with members of Congress to discuss issues affecting the Lone Star State and agriculture. One thing, kind of the underlying current, so to speak, I think, is a lot of the members really don't expect a lot to happen. And this Congress hasn't gotten a lot done, but we're up here still trying to push our issues. Some of those issues are immigration reform, trade, and EPA overreach. Growers weren't always told what they wanted to hear, but they were proud to represent agriculture to the men and women who represent them in Congress. No matter how busy uh, a member of Congress uh, is, they, they have to take time to see the folks that made an effort, uh, made a sacrifice to come from the district all the way up to Washington. For growers, one big concern is the Environmental Protection Agency's attempt to regulate more bodies of water. That not only affects agriculture, but the energy sector and the state of Texas. In our society, we need uh, neutral umpires, uh, and agencies play the role, or they're supposed to play the role of being neutral uh, umpires. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes agencies get a little bit too aggressive, and they move from the neutral position to a participant. Farmers and ranchers also voice the need for a viable guest worker program, as well as ways to help get American-grown products to those who want them around the world. Not only did they meet with their U.S. representative, they also met with Senator John Cornyn and Chair of the House Agriculture Committee, Mike Conaway. The afternoon that we spent with our uh, senators and policymakers was really fascinating. It, you see the futility of trying to get something done and how slow government moves, and it's an eye-opener of things we need to do to our constituents and people back home to help this process. Being involved isn't just for those who make the trip to D.C., all Texans are encouraged to contact their member of Congress to let their voices be heard. For TFB News, Jessica Domel, Washington, D.C.